Hello, hello. So today I want to talk to you about how to get ahead of 99% of retail traders, right? So this will be a video that is short, simple and straight to the point. And one thing I'll tell you for sure is that this video won't just be another technical analysis video because if I'm telling you the truth from me to you, you are 100% on the right track when it comes to technical analysis. You don't know it yet, but you are. Even if you know just basic, simple, technical uh, tools or terms like support and resistant, and that is all that you use, you are on the right track, right? Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled that you need to uh, complicate your strategy or your technical analysis strategy and make it complex. No. Even if you have basic support and resistance, understanding you are good and you are on the right track, right? So I'll be showing you how to get ahead of 99% of retail traders by just having that switch, right? So also another fact that you need to know is the fact that any technical analysis pattern, whether it's a head and shoulder, double bottom, double top, uh, flag pattern, wedge pattern, whatever pattern that it may be, that's a technical analysis pattern, all those patterns work, right? But for them to work, you need to be on the right side of the market direction. So that is the important part. That is what I'll be talking about in this specific video. You being on the right side of the market direction, then you can use whatever technical analysis strategy you want to use and it will work regardless of whatever of, or regardless of how uh, beginner or advanced it is or how simple or complex it may be. It will work for you once you understand uh, what I'm about to share with you today. Right. So this is essentially just uh, the S&P 500 that I bought uh, on October 2023 uh, and then of course I've been holding of course up until all time highs and I'm still in the trade right so I'll just be breaking down some of the reasons why right so essentially to get started like I told you I won't be sticking to technical analysis because you are 100% fine there you know your technical analysis you don't need me to be changing support and resistance and calling it something else so that I can make it appear as if you're learning something you know you you still be learning the same thing. So first things to to take note of here is we're gonna talk about interest rates, right? So when it comes to interest rates, okay. So we're gonna talk about interest interest rates, right? And then interest rates can either can either go up or go down, right? So interest rates can either go up or go down. So how does how does this affect the market? Specifically currency market or, or stock market in general, right? So when interest rates go down, the perception is that borrowing costs will be low, right? So when interest rates go down, perception is that borrowing costs will be low. So if the central bank comes out and they announce that they're cutting interest rates, the assumption there is that uh, Borrowing costs will be low, of course, and then what, what will that do? That will boost consumers and businesses uh, to actually start what? Start borrowing money and they will eventually start spending money. If they increase their spending, then that will feed into investments. And if it feeds into investments, then that will cause businesses to do well because businesses will be growing, employing and expanding. And then what will that do? That will cause the stock price to go up. Like, for example, US 30, NASDAQ or, 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 or the Dow Jones, those are all stock market indices right what are they composed of they composed of businesses so if interest rates are expected to go down then that should benefit businesses and if it benefits businesses it means that it will increase the stock price of those businesses and that is why we see indices go up whenever there's an expectation or anticipation of interest rates going down right so like i told you guys it will be straightforward to the point so that is what we have there when when interest rates are expected to go down and if interest rates are expected to go up, then it's the opposite, right? So that they, the assumption is that my borrowing costs or borrowing money will be expensive. So if borrowing money is expensive, it will not attract invest. Sorry, it will not attract uh, businesses as well as consumers to borrow money. So which means that it will not increase spending. If it does not increase spending, it will not boost what uh, profit margins for businesses. And what will that ha what will that do? That will lower the stock prices because earnings will go down for businesses, and that will ultimately affect who your Nasdaq, your in your your S and P five hundred, as well as your Dow Jones, right? So this that is this, the framework behind it. That is how you gauge direction. That is how you gauge direction and then you can use whatever technical analysis strategy that you're currently using. So this is how we gauge the direction. Interest rates is the first thing. And then for interest rates uh, to actually be considered, 
depending on the central bank, inflation is what is important, right? So inflation, uh, and then, okay, let me just uh, do it in the same way. So it is inflation, and then inflation has a target, right? So there's an inflation target. So in this case, we'll just use the, the basic 2%, which is uh, the basic one for most uh, central banks or, at, or Western economies western economies right so we're gonna use two percent target and then depending on where inflation is so if we are below right so let's say above okay let me just shift my two percent target and put it here and then if two percent if the if, if inflation is above the two percent target right then what happens is that if it's above then interest rates need to go up because interest rates will lower will will do what if interest rates go up remember what i explained to you initially it will not uh, attract uh, consumers as well as businesses to borrow money because uh, borrowing costs will be high and that will result in inflation ultimately going down because what produces inflation it is the demand going up of goods and services so to kill the demand of goods and services we need to kill what the, the spending power or decrease spending from businesses as well as consumers that is the thought process behind it right and then if inflation is below right so if inflation is below the two percent target then what happens is interest rates need to go down right so or if, if inflation is below or let's say inflation was high like the current scenario and inflation is going down towards the two percent target and potentially could potentially go lower what do the central bank do they start cutting interest rates if they they were increasing interest rates all along right so that is what we currently having now we're in an, a scenario or a situation where inflation was very high central banks started hiking interest rates most central banks in 2022 started hiking interest rates and now they are looking to possibly cut interest rates because inflation is getting closer towards the two percent target right so that is the framework for you to get your direction right this is what you need to know this is what will help you get your direction because remember what i said when you know the direction any technical analysis strategy or pattern will work if you're on the right side of the market it will work for you so now we have an understanding of interest rates a basic understanding of interest rates inflation and then also something else that they use to lower interest rates uh it's also called quantitative easing right so but for the purpose of this video just not to make it long i won't really elaborate that much in terms of explaining quantitative easing but essentially it is the central bank buying bonds or the central bank buying bonds from commercial banks or in the open market and then whoever 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 sells those bonds to the central bank receives the money in this in this case it will be commercial banks and then that means that the commercial banks will have excess capital or money that they can give out as loans right so that is what central bank also does to do what to lower interest rates so that re, that results in a increased supply of money and remember if supply is increased then the price decreases so if it is an increase of supply and money that will eventually feed into inflation and then the currency because remember inflation is that is depreciate depreciation of the actual currency's value right so that is how quantitative easing works right so i won't really get into the nitty gritties of it but i just wanted you guys to get to have an understanding of this right and then now since you're equipped with this understanding let us go into a, 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 a an example here so this was back in november the third so fit to start tapering bond purchases so here what it meant what it means is that they were about to stop their quantitative easing program or slow down in terms of how many bonds they were buying per month so that means that in essence if you now understand this diagram like i said that means inflation was now above the two the, the targets they're no longer trying to push interest rates lower but they're trying to push interest rates up and like i said if interest rates are going up then that affects businesses affects consumers and if it affects businesses it will affect the stock price and if it affects the stock price it will affect who the, the indices right so if we go back to our s p 500 here that was in november 2021 so if you had that if you had the knowledge of that and the understanding of that of that then you would have waited or you would have anticipated that the, that the stock market will possibly go lower. This was it back in 2021, right? So that is essentially what you had to do. Whether you're using a divergence here, 
like I have indicator, this is a divergence where we have this high and then we have a lower high on the on the RSI, but here we have a higher high. Whether you use that, whatever other technical analysis strategy you use, but you are you are spot on on the direction. Because remember, fundamentals drive markets, right? And then price continues to continue to fall. And then in June 2022, that is when we had intro that is when we had a high of 9.1% when it comes to inflation in the US and then from there inflation continued to drop lower or started dropping lower right so three months after that from June 2022 so June was around here so June 2022 that is when we saw inflation starting to go lower right so if inflation is if inflation was above the, the target and now it's starting to go lower yes it was still high but it was moving down what is the assumption is that eventually inflation will fall gets to our 2% target and if it gets to our 2% target potentially it has the risk of going below so what should the central bank do the central bank should start cutting interest rates or interest rates should go down and remember what i said if interest rates are expected to be cut or there is an expectations from the market even if the central bank has not announced it if there's the expectations from the market then that what that creates an assumption that consumers and businesses will borrow money it will increase spending and then of course it will increase the stock price and if it increases stock price or asset prices then it will result in the stock market also rallying right or it will increase the share price because earnings will go up if businesses are doing good right so that is what we had around june right so that was in june 2022 and then since inflation was going lower right then the expectations obviously would be a cut of interest rate at some point not when inflation is still high but eventually when it gets towards the two percent target then you just use your basic support and resistance it doesn't really matter if you are correct on the direction you will know what is happening whether then you use this as a head and shoulders it is up to you but as long as you know the direction based on fundamentals you'll be safe right and then of course we saw indices continue to go up at this point the federal reserve was still hiking interest rates continued to go up and then eventually we, we got into 2023 we had another pull back here and then this was also in october at this point inflation was ranging at around three to four percent from 9.1 percent in june 2022 so that was also still supporting a case that potentially we will get we are getting closer to where to the two percent target and if we are getting closer to the two percent target from from being above it now getting closer to it we should be moving to the direction of cutting interest rates and that is what fueled uh, asset prices even higher so what happened in june in, in october 2023 that is when i exit that is when i also entered a buy position this is all on the weekly time frame i'm just showing you on the weekly time frame you can use any time frame of your choice like i said any technical analysis strategy of your of your choice but if you are correct on the direction your technical analysis strategy doesn't matter that much if you are correct on the direction any pattern will work right so this is what we had there so that is when i also entered i I, I literally used basic support and resistance. I'm not going to lie. Uh, no, this is one. This is where I used. I used this one here. Yeah. I literally used basic support and resistance. I'm not going to lie. I didn't overcomplicate it. It was just one line. And then I waited for price, waited for comp confirmation on the lower time frames, And then I took my buy position. Why? Because I understood the direction. I understood what was happening behind the scenes. I understood what was happening behind the chart, what the market were expecting and what they and what and what uh, the expectations were. Right. And then we had it in December, the December meeting when the Federal Reserve actually came in and they for the first time since 2022, they spoke about potentially now they are considering or having discussions of cutting interest rates because they wouldn't want to make the mistake of cutting interest rates when inflation gets to two percent because that might be late so that signals that probably they'll start cutting interest rates before inflation even gets to two percent and what we saw there we saw a continued rally or a stronger rally to close december when it comes to indices right so this is what i'm talking about this is what i mean when i say this is how you'll get ahead of 99 percent of retail traders because most of them they're just tweaking the, the the technical analysis side of things they're trying to improve their technical analysis strategy how do i analyze adding fibonacci nothing wrong with that but if you are on the right side of the direction all those things will work perfectly for you right so this is how you get ahead of 99 percent of retail traders have that basic understanding of your fundamentals know what is happening behind the, the picture the technical analysis picture and you will definitely be 
some some light years ahead and then of course we've seen all-time highs on uh, us 30 s p 500 i only bought s p 500 so that is why i'm specifically talking about it but go go once you've done what once you are done watching this video go back test it out yourself and see how it works for you as well right and then give me feedback in the comments and let me know how things actually go right so since we've reached all-time highs we've seen that inflation expectations are going down so if inflation expectations are going down and they are the lowest in in a couple of years so if it's it's sorry it's the lowest in three years if inflation expectations are going down what does that mean that means that if inflation is expected to go down then definitely we are moving closer towards cutting interest rates if interest rates are being cut the assumption is businesses will start spending consumers will have money then that will grow asset uh, that will grow businesses that will grow stock prices or asset prices and that will eventually result in who result in all the indices going higher and pushing higher and that is why we've seen an all-time high push or if we had a very strong push on friday because the, the data for for one year inflation expectations and five year inflation expectations came out on Friday and that is why we saw this big rally. So this is how you get ahead of 99% of retail traders and I hope this makes sense guys and if it did uh, like the video share the video and let me know what you think in the comments once you've uh, once you've actually applied this on, 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 on the NASDAQ on the US 30 let me know uh, your findings uh, and by, by yeah let me know in the comments below right so cheers guys.